designer babies. Yeah, there is such a thing. And uh, while I transplant these babies, these ones right here, I'm going to tell you what I learned about that today. And I'm going to name this Plants and Facts. Let me know. Anyway, in order to even talk about genetics, we got to talk about Sir Charles Darwin. He's the one that came up with almost the whole thing. So he created Darwinism, which is pretty much the idea that only the strongest survive. After he went to the Galapagos, stalked some animals and said, hey, yeah, this theory sticks. So he married a cousin of his. Okay, whole other story. Really hope this survives. So not the cousin he married, but another cousin of his went ahead and took this to a whole other level and created eugenics saying that humans need to do better in their genetics and breed accordingly and you guessed it this idea went pretty far and got really popular with a certain group of people from way back then let's call it the way back then bad germans i don't want to get flagged so those people took it all to a whole other level and pretty much even like created like a handmaid's tale scenario yes i know didn't happen now happened earlier mm. but that's a whole other topic that i just don't have time to talk about in this subject better baby contest and it's exactly what you think it is parents would sign up their babies to compete with other parents and their babies to who had the better baby the judges were some nurses and doctors, and they would um, rate these babies according to chest size characteristics, like how friendly they were. For instance, like if they were shy, that kind of took away a point for them. Looks, very quote unquote scientific, but very vague thing. So they created that matrix and parents really, really went gun ho on it. They were very competitive about it because it was who had the best baby is like, who could kind of like trying to get bragging rights for it, right? In a really weird way. Robert Graham, I'm going to just call him Graham, went ahead and created what we know as today designer babies. He took Darwinism personally and said that he wanted to make sure that we created more of these better humans with better genetics. How would he do that? He believed that smart his definition of smart, smart and capable and his definition of beautiful people weren't having enough babies at the time. He wanted to fix that and make that his priority in life. He created a VIP sperm bank. Yep. And he called it the repository of germinal choice. Sounds sketchy because it is. So what would he do? He would go around looking for scientists and people of the like to 